Hi fellow crafters and stampers, this is Brandy. I am back today with something a little different. Every video I believe that I have made for you guys has been a greeting card and I thought I would show you something a little different today. I also uh, scrapbook a little bit and I have the most the cutest pictures of my cat when he was younger and I'm putting together a book for him. Isn't that the cutest little face? But he's got uh, some mischief in him. But I have started a book for him and I'm gonna do a scrapbook page for you. I have a 12 by 12 Whisper White from Stampin' Up! of course. I haven't demonstrated the scoreboard for you. I was gonna just decorate the edges of this a little bit. I'm just gonna make some score lines down my page. I made score lines at 11 and a half, 11, 10 and a half, 10, and 9 and a half. I'm gonna turn this around to keep my measurements consistent. I think that's, I don't think, there you go. See the little decoration, just a light little something extra to the page. And for his scrapbook, I've, I'm so used to girly stuff. Everything pink and flowers and just total girly. And I had to keep remembering, he's a boy, he's a boy, he's a boy. So I have used this stamp set for the pages I've done so far, Gorgeous Grunge total boy male themed. I am making this kind of the theme throughout this, the scrapbook. I have taken the big splatter with so saffron and I'm just going to randomly put this on my page. I'm mainly going to stick to the edges because I have Polka Dot Parade in Marina Mist that I'm going to put in the middle there. I now have the Marina Mist, the smaller stamp. And I'm going to do the same thing, just kind of random, maybe overlap. I think I like that right there. Get my ATG. Okay, I'm gonna bring back in my first picture. And I believe this is certainly celery. I had a little bit of it left over. It is a retired color now. I'm gonna take my crocodile corner chomper, use the half inch side. I'm going to round my corners. I love how that looks. I'm going to do the same to my picture. I'm going to bring in my next picture. Isn't that he is just so cute sometimes. can't believe how tiny he was. Again, I'm going to round my corners. And my mat. This is uh, so saffron to match the ink. And then I have I have this one. He likes to get in into small spaces. I guess that's a cat thing. Okay, I believe I have the pictures where I want them. I'm gonna take a moment and attach these. Okay, my pictures are adhered. I'm gonna bring in some subtle candy dots. I'm going to have the brads. I'm going to take the So Saffron. I'm going to make two brads in the So Saffron and one in this green, I think it's Pear Pizzazz. I have my makeshift piercing mat. I think I'm just going to put these right down here, just kind of random. I'll use the, these little dots as my guide. Quick 
a little scrapbook page. I'll add some journaling to it later. I would like to share a quick little idea with everyone. I don't know how I did this, but somehow I ordered two of this same picture and I came up with this idea. I cut him out of one picture and then I popped him up using dimensionals on top of himself in this picture and you can't really, you don't get the effect of it on camera, it doesn't look like, but it looks 3D, it is so awesome. So I just wanted to share that quick little tip, I'll probably do that in the future, except I'll order two pictures on purpose in order to do this. I want to thank everyone for tuning in while I did this quick little scrapbook page. And usually when I do pages, uh, when I'm working on a scrapbook, I usually do two matching pages. So this will be part one, and once I get the pictures for the, the second page picked out, I will do a part two. Thanks again for tuning in. Have a great day.